thanks for coming and participating with us today. Do you want to tell the people a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Nolan. I am in grade 8 and I'm 13 years old and I have a severe to profound hearing loss. All right, and how are things at school? Tell us something about school. What's difficult for you at school? Or? Well, for the most part, school is good, but sometimes some areas where I do have issues is maybe mm -hmm. when a teacher is teaching a lesson mm -hmm. and he, he asks a question to something, a student puts up their hand and like, and they answer a question, but our classroom is like so big that voices can echo around. Yeah. And it's sometimes hard to hear what they're saying. So does your teacher ever repeat the question or yeah. tell you what they're saying sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. And um, how do you find if kids are just talking around you in the classroom? What's that like? Uh, our teacher is actually pretty strict, so it doesn't really happen. So it's pretty quiet in the class for the most part? Yeah. Oh, that's good. And what about at, is there anything that's difficult for you at home or in your community? I know you're active in your community. So sometimes when we have large family gatherings, people are like all over the place talking and we have a fairly big house so it can, so it can bounce around. Yeah. So it gets kind of hard to hear that sometimes. Yeah. And what about in, in the community you play sports, right? Oh, yeah, when we play sports, um, some kids don't get that they think just because I have hearing aids means that I'm going to hear anything. Right. But since, like, in sports we have a big place with a, that can echo around or no roof at all. Yeah. So what kind of sports do you like to play? Softball, hockey. So when you're in the rink? Well, yeah, in the rink at the end of periods we have timeouts. Yeah. Some, we huddle around the coach and some people are standing up and like I tell them can you please sit down and they're like you only need to hear the coach you don't need to see them and they don't get that I need to read lips. Yeah. So when you play hockey do you wear your hearing aids? Yeah. Yeah. And does your coach ever wear like an FM system yeah. or anything? Oh he does all every the time? Every game. Every wow. practice. So you can hear what he's saying. It yeah. works pretty well. Yeah. Not too much background noise, like pucks. Not and... really, actually, because I have a Roger pen, and oh, that's it, it helps to. It doesn't pick up too much background noise. Oh, that's great. And what about on the when you're playing baseball? When I'm playing baseball, the kids at baseball are like a little less crazy. They don't. They're not like I think I'm so cool kind of kids. Yeah. So. <laughs> So, so they so, they're better with your hearing loss, or they yeah. Um, there isn't as many kids either. So, and does your coach wear FM at baseball too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's good because outside sometimes it can be windy and yeah, that doesn't affect actually. The weather is usually pretty good when we play baseball, so not too many issues with that. And when you play hockey, do you play one position or do you play different positions? Well, I usually play one position for an expanded amount of time. Yeah. So you get to know your position really yeah. well. You've never gone and scored on the wrong net. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet? No. And what, so you, you kind of touched a little bit on the technology you use, but what kind of technology is really helpful for you? Well, if, when our teacher's talking in class or if someone's doing a presentation, the person who's doing the majority of the talking mm -hmm will wear the FM, mm -hmm. but if we're having group conversations and the different people are speaking, mm -hmm. I'll use my Dynamite, which is, it's sort of like a microphone that connects to my hearing aids. Okay. So it, so they can pass that around, plus when I see who's holding it, it also helps me to know who to look at, because I know who's speaking. Yeah. And are your friends pretty, like, they know you now and they know that and they just do it naturally to help you out? They yeah. get it? But every now and then I meet new people who don't know how it works and stuff. And sometimes they've, they've always, they always come up with new questions to yeah. ask. Yeah, so you could end up being a salesman for the equipment down the road because you know everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything particular that you would like maybe like your friends and family to know or new friends that you meet? 
Uh, well, just because I have hearing aids, for one, me it doesn't doesn't correct my hearing. Mm -hmm. It it picks up sound, but it doesn't make it. It's not clear. Like I still have to make sense of what it's being said. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, uh, I read lips, so just it's important that I can see the person who's speaking and their face. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a teacher or a principal or coach with a mustache? <laughs> uh, or tried to lip read somebody so. with a mustache? Because I've heard it's harder. Well, it's actually not that hard. No? We used to have a principal at my school who had a mustache and some of the kids said they could never lip read him because they couldn't see his mouth very well. Yeah, I can see all that being an issue. Yeah. Um, if you, if I had some younger kids here with hearing loss, do you have any good suggestions for them or something that you've learned along the way that might be helpful to them? Well, for starters, learn how to lip read because you can lip read people, like you can see their lips when it's uh, loud and noisy. Mm -hmm. And uh, also learn sign language because not only does it help you, but it, but you can also meet a lot of really cool people, like deaf people. Yeah. who, who you, you wouldn't be able to meet if you didn't know how to sign. Mm -hmm. So they, give, they bring a lot of interesting things aspects to your life and, and aspects to your life. That's a really good suggestion. So if you met parents who have a new baby that's got a hearing loss, you'd really um, encourage them to learn sign language. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if there, is there anything else you want the universe to know about hearing well, loss and... I am deaf, but just because I'm deaf doesn't mean that I can't be independent and succeed in life. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ideas what you might want to do later on in life when you're a little bit older? Uh, Probably I'm besides having a fancy car when you're a teenager, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to be an engineer of some sort. Mm -hmm. Sort of a um, power engineer train. And engineer, growing engineer, somewhere in that area. Mm -hmm. Cool. And any other advice you could give me or anybody watching this video about, let's say somebody just got a job for the first time working in a classroom with a child with a hearing loss, a middle schooler with a hearing loss. What would you like them to know? Pay attention to your teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what you like the student to know. But let's say, for example, I... Um, just hired a new communication facilitator or teaching assistant to work with you for the first yeah. time. What would you like them to know? Uh, it's important that my FM works mm -hmm. because I'm missing over 50%. If I, my FM is not working, even if I'm paying attention, I can miss over 50% of what's being said. Okay. So that's critical and yeah. And what about with your friends? Do you feel that well, they should sort of stay out of your space or do you care if they're around you or yeah. how do you feel just about having an well, adult when, when, they, when they're talking, I just want them to make sure that like when they are talking to me, they can see my lips. Mm -hmm. And if they do want to talk while the teacher's talking, don't make it like super loud or anything. Okay, so yeah. if they're trying to explain something to you, you mean, the, the communication facilitator? Yeah. If they're trying to explain something to you. Yeah, make um, sure I can see their face. Yeah. And their mouth. And is there any other helpful strategies, like do they ever write words down for you? Yeah, or? sometimes. Sometimes when it's noisy, they'll just um, write something down on a piece of paper, which mm -hmm. is really helpful. Yeah. And do they ever take notes for you or anything like that, or no? No, no. You do that. You do that yourself, or you get. Do you get notes from your teacher sometime? Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, anything else? Not really. No. Not really. Well, thank you so much, Nolan. I just have, Nolan. Do you remember when your friends listened? Your teacher listened through your hearing aid. They oh, learned yeah, new. They, what did they find out when they were listening through your hearing like aid? Like, what was their they reaction? Was, they found out it was cool, mostly. Mm -hmm. 
Did they hear things like how noisy it is when paper slides across the table? Yeah, they. And even like then they just started listening for the fun of it. Yeah. It's fun if they don't have to wear it every day, right, Nolan? Yeah, it's the same with crutches. It's fun to try out, but like. <laughs> Yeah. If you're like permanently on crutches, it's not fun. It's not so much fun. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us today. Yeah, thank you.